Uh, Jim McGee still the principal. Okay, and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, name an affiliate. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Angelica Zemecki, and I'm from the Pawfrit in Boca High. Yes! <laughs> for those who don't know, I went to Boca High for a year and a half before moving to LA. Yeah, um, so let's start talking about the movie. So, were you more comfortable playing the role of Peter in the second movie as opposed to the first one? Like, did you get used to the character more? I wouldn't say there was... Well, yeah, maybe maybe there's a little more comfort. I feel like what's interesting is there's a parallel. The mm -hmm. first movie is Largin and Peter meeting for the first time and getting to know each other, and then the second movie is like and falling in love, and the second movie is like their their love deepening, and it's there's a similar parallel to an actor like the first time I went to Vancouver, I'm familiarizing mm -hmm. myself with Lana Condor mm -hmm. and the city, and then when we go back there a second time. The relationship just kind of gets cultivated and deepens as well. Mm -hmm. So I'd say I'd say it's, um, but it was always really comfortable with Lana, and it's not like it was an uncomfortable. It's yeah. just been super comfortable, and then it just became like even more familiar. Yeah. Um, so, how do you think your character has developed from the first movie to the second movie? Peter, uh, Peter, you know, and interestingly enough, there is development, but it's kind of minute mm -hmm. in Peter's character arc and, and who he is doesn't really change so much except for his understanding of love and relationships yeah. and what's needed to really take care of a relationship definitely changes mm -hmm. um, but in the third movie you see you see a little, like you see a lot there's more there's mm -hmm. more for Peter in the third movie I'm really excited about it. yeah um, so when did you start auditioning for like different roles and when did you, were, when were you sure you wanted to pursue this career of acting? Totally. Um, when I was eight years old, I went on my first audition. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I worked as a, as a model and did commercials in West Palm no Beach way. in Miami for like, I don't know, 13 or like uh, five years. Mm -hmm. And then I did independent films and then when I... When I turned like 14, after my first pilot season, moving to LA, I dropped out of eighth grade, went to, to LA for a thing called pilot season. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I came back, I went, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's so cool. And, and you, yeah. your first show was Austin and Alley, right? Yeah, Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who was it? Uh, accessory cart guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was the, that was the name <laughs> I first. remember that. <laughs> Um, so is there anything that you did or didn't do in high school that helped you in your current day-to-day -day life as an adult? Oof. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, dropping out of high school helped me a lot, <laughs> honestly. Um, for me personally, maybe not for everybody. Um, being kind to my teachers Mm -hmm. was something that actually really enriched my life because though I was a poor student and like acted out in class mm -hmm. and didn't listen to them in class, I was still friends with them. Mm -hmm. So I could like go into their class after school. It's just, it's good to have those relationships with people that are older than you because your peers in high school have no idea what they're talking about 99% yeah. of the time. Yeah. And we like hold their opinions like so highly but there, we shouldn't, you know, like when I was 15, I, like if I could tell 15 year old or 13 year old me, mm -hmm. you know, those kids have no idea what they're talking about. You're so cool, you're so kind, like keep going. Like I would have because those kids, like, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, forge relationships with people that are, that are older than you, that you trust and that your parents trust. Mm -hmm. um, because that, that it's way healthier than like just listening to peers, yeah. man. It's an echo chamber of people thinking that they know what they're talking about and yeah. they usually they might not. So did you have any idea that you were going to be acting like these huge roles when you were in high school? Um, I mean, the, you know, it's the dream, right? You always kind of hope, you kind of hope it's gonna happen. But mm -hmm. for me, I was just doing it because I loved it. Um, and I wasn't even thinking about, you know, obviously I was like, oh, I'd love to have a career like Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. or, whoever, Mark Ruffalo or Ashley Kutcher. Um, I was always very confident though that if I worked hard enough, I would be able to do anything that I wanted to do. Um, I had those positive feedback loops instilled in me from a young, young age. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I think mindset is everything. So if you believe you can do something and you understand that it's not gonna come for free or easy, it's gonna be difficult, but you're gonna work harder than that difficulty, then uh, you can, I literally believe that you can do anything. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's a great job. So good. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice Come to here. Meet you. Oh. <laughs>